At 10, for the first time, scientists are actively tracking mosquitoes in Wisconsin to find out if they're carrying the Zika virus. The virus has been known to cause microcephaly, a devastating birth defect. Corrine Zell talked with the researcher spearheading the project and joins us now. Corrine. George, they decided to do this after learning several mosquitoes possibly carrying Zika were found in Minnesota and southern Illinois and one in Iowa. They've never been a well-liked insect, but now more than ever, most people want nothing to do with mosquitoes. A University of Wisconsin entomology researcher is the exception. She's looking for them. We're focusing on the Asian tiger mosquito because of these recent maps that put it kind of close to our borders. With the help of county health departments, Dr. Paskowitz is ramping up surveillance by simulating places where the mosquitoes known for carrying Zika might lay their eggs. And so you call that an ova trap, and it's basically just a little stadium cup that's dark, so ours are black and it's got water in it, and then it has a substrate where they can lay their eggs. About 10 southern Wisconsin counties are using these traps. Those eggs then get returned to the laboratory. We'll hatch them. Once they become a little bit bigger of the immature stage, we can identify them and tell whether they're um, the Asian tiger mosquito or one of the other container breeding mosquitoes that occur in Wisconsin. It takes a few days for the eggs to hatch and another week to identify. We're just being proactive to make sure we haven't missed it, that it hasn't sneaked in under the radar, maybe present in some places at a very low level, but you know, just getting going. Scientists don't think they'll find Asian tiger mosquitoes here in Wisconsin. We should mention, though, there are two confirmed cases of people here in the state with Zika, but they contracted the virus overseas. George and Carol, 